write an exponential function, which exponential functions have the form y equals a b to the power of x. Um, a is your y-intercept. B is either your growth or decay rate. Just depends on the problem you're working with. If it's growth, B is going to be a number uh, greater than 1. If it's decay, it's going to be a number between 0 and less than 1. So it's going to be a decimal. But you're not going to have a growth rate that's negative. That's impossible. All right, so if I give you the ordered pair 0, 6, 1, oh, 12, and say find an exponential function, can you look at this and tell me what your y-intercept is without doing any work? Uh, six. It's 6. Yeah. When your graph uh, crosses through the x-axis at 0, then that's going to be your y-intercept because the ordered pair here would be 0, 6. So you already know that a is equal to 6. Now we just need to know b. So I'll use this equation and we'll set it up. 12 that's our y, is equal to a, which is 6, times b to the power of 1. So I'm trying to solve for b, right? I don't need the 1 there. Divide both sides by 6, and I get 2 equals b. You're not finished. Don't just give me a and b separately. Write it as an equation. is equal to 6 times 2 to the power of x. That's an exponential function. Initial amount six. What's your growth rate? It's a hundred percent increase, right? Oh no, this is where I get so confused. I don't oh, know.